When it comes to rotator cuff repairs, we have a lot of great tools and techniques that allow us to make strong repairs to the torn tendons. From vented anchors that allow marrow stimulation to double row knotless devices, the list of improvements goes on and on. However, a well-known issue is that rotator cuff tears, no matter how well we repair them, they can tear again. Even more commonly, the tendon might not ever heal in the first place, despite a technically well done surgery. This is due to poor circulation in the tissue, leading to less healing potential. In fact, it's likely that these factors led to the weakening of the tendon, allowing it to tear in the first place. So how do we combat these factors after repairing the tendon surgically? Is there a way to stack the deck in your favor so the tendon is more likely to heal? In this video, I will discuss BMAC, a powerful option that maximizes the body's ability to heal tendon damage in the short term and gives tendon durability over the long haul. Welcome to the Shoulder and Arm Health channel where we discuss the latest health trends in the shoulder and upper limb. I'm Dr. Roger Sohn, a board certified orthopedic surgeon. It is well understood that rotator cuff tendons become weaker as we get beyond the age of 35. Due to weakening blood supply and the accumulation of micro damage, the tendons become less able to handle the forces that are put on them. It is much more common to see rotator cuff tears in previously diseased tendons than in healthy ones. These injuries usually happen in tendons that have become thin and weaker. Due to the weakness, the tendon can rupture during what would have been a normal sports activity such as playing basketball or lifting weights. Keep in mind that it takes a much more significant force to tear a totally healthy tendon. Since we know that rotator cuff tears usually happen in diseased tendons, it should not come as much of a surprise that a fair amount of rotator cuff repairs do not heal after surgery. By some estimations, the early failure, failure rate is between 15 and 33 percent, and the failure number goes higher as time goes on. It might be wishful thinking to think that we can simply repair a very unhealthy tendon and expect it to grow roots into the bone. Surgery can often stimulate a healing response, but it might not be enough for some tendons which have a lot of fraying and damage. Furthermore, even if the tendons heal, some of the pre-existing damage will still be there, leading to the potential for the tendon to tear again in the future. As I told you in the introduction, we have some options to help improve the tendon's healing potential, both short-term and long-term. The International Orthopedics Journal published a study by Dr. Hernigau showing the difference in healing and re-tear rates when BMAC, also known as bone marrow aspirate concentrate, is added to rotator cuff repairs. In this treatment, the surgeon completes the repair using a minimally invasive technique called arthroscopy. Next, the surgeon makes an enriched preparation of the patient's bone marrow. This process concentrates the naturally occurring healing factors and mesenchymal stem cells found in the marrow. These regenerative cells and healing factors are then infused in and under the rotator cuff repair. The Hernigau study found that at six months, 100% of the BMAC treated patients had healed, while only two thirds of the non treated patients had healed. The remarkable thing was that they followed the patients for a decade and rechecked the shoulders with a new MRI. At 10 years, 87% of the BMAC treated patients had intact repairs, but only 44% of the other group had remained intact. This study highlights the importance of biology and cells in repairing the rotator cuff. How the repair is performed technically may be much less important than the healing potential of the patient. Age, smoking status, health conditions that affect the circulation, and various other factors will influence how well a person can heal. We always encourage our patients to try to follow a healthy lifestyle and diet as they plan for surgery. For patients who have significant risk factors or for those who are looking to maximize their long-term success, bone marrow aspirate concentrate may be a great way to enhance tendon strength both in the short term and for the future. For the latest and best in shoulder and arm care, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.